Let us calculate where Lewis and Clark were on January 14th and 15th, 1805, based on Lewis's lunar eclipse observation and two equal altitude sun sightings the following day. Lewis's timepiece, the chronometer, was not wound on a regular basis, so it was not in sync with any real time. A lunar eclipse would change all that. The almanac Lewis was carrying predicted the January 14th eclipse. Lewis sat in freezing cold weather to observe the following. Commencement of total darkness, 12.28.05. End of total darkness, 12.57.24. End of eclipse, 14.39.10. Due to clouds, Lewis says, the last two obs observations were the most satisfactory. From NASA's eclipse website, and noting the differences in times between observations, one can deduce that Lewis's chronometer at 14.39.10 corresponded with stage U4, the actual time 10.27.37, universal time coordinated. 5 hours, 47 minutes, 22 seconds later, Lewis uses a glass artificial horizon leveled with the spirit level to measure the sun's upper limb elevation. That would be 16, 14, 59 UTC. From an almanac with delta T equals 12.6 seconds, that would put the sun at Greenwich hour angle 61 degrees, 16.54 minutes, and declination south 21 degrees, 7.3 minutes. After another 5 hours, 23 minutes, 14 seconds, Lewis again measures the elevation of the sun's upper limb. The time, 21, 38, 13, universal time coordinated. From the almanac, the sun is at Greenwich hour angle 142 degrees, 3.87 minutes, declination south, 21 degrees, 4.87 minutes. Lewis reports a, re a measured a altitude angle of 26 degrees, 6 minutes, 15 seconds, with an index error of minus 8 minutes, 45 seconds. Since measurements was taken on land rather than the ocean horizon, the observation had to be done with an artificial horizon. The artificial horizon carries a reflected image of a celestial body from a pool of liquid or a leveled mirror to the sextant. The measured angle must be divided by two. Adjustments for refraction, the apparent diameter, and parallax can also be found in any standard nautical almanac. These corrections amount to 20 minutes, 6 seconds. The observed angle which is the angle from the horizon to the sun is 12 degrees 38 minutes 39 seconds. The complement 77 degrees 21 minutes 21 seconds is the same as Lewis's angular distance to the sun. Using the standard spherical trigonomic formula begin calculating the unknown angles and sides. You can uh, Google Earth the final location at 47 degrees, just go space, 10.7 minutes north, 101 degrees, just put a space, 37.6 minutes west.